What's good, GATV? It's gravitating away, and I'm here, y'all. I'm back here. Now, if you've seen the thumbnail and the title, just hold on a second. Hold on a second. I just got to cook real quick, you know? Grown man here. Grown man. Let me just cook for a second. If you don't know who Little Dirk is, then first of all, <laughs> you're on the right track to life. <laughs> Okay, Dirk, you're like 30 years old now. Why are you beefing with a 23-year-old NBA young boy? Clearly psychotic, NBA young boy that is. I've once, you know, praised his work ethic, but I can't overshadow the nonsense these, you know, little boys are a part of. But seriously, Dirk, you're like 30 years old beefing with a... a a mental patient in NBA young boy. Great work ethic, but regardless, mental patient. Don't give me the backstory of why they're beefing. I really could care less. And plus, I already know. I mean, all these platforms push it in our face every day. But y'all both have bodyguards. So no, you're not street <laughs> anymore. As if that was a big flex in the first place. I don't think... You know, you're in any way a quote unquote artist, a grown child channeling repressed aggression and unbalanced mental issues on full display to the world. You rappers definitely need therapy or a reality check. I'm serious, man. We have let the little boys who are grown men get passes for their inciting of death which they contribute to again just like the grifter or scammer who uses their influence to swindle you and the disenfranchisement continues dilapidated communities continues the breakdowns of your families continues but y'all give them a pass i say again rap is black culture and y'all look trash just like Dirk's latest album represents. His music is garbage and unnecessarily over-emotional like a lot of these rappers nowadays. For the fear of being called a hater, most of you don't like labeling these so-called artists or, you know, your local leaders. Just that. Trash. Bump being mid. Most of the music today is repetitive and might make you blow your head off with the caca that is being regurgitated out. Dirk and others in this orchestrated genre of rap are receiving the crowning of being the top dogs of this once sacred art form. That is a problem. I'm not even necessarily coming at Dirk himself, but I'm using him as a representation. But look, there's grown people who have children. Let that resonate. They have children. They are fathers, mothers who will not like what I'm saying on this issue. I would understand if it was from the younger folks like teenagers or whatever. You know, they're easily blinded by the components of rap today. The same components that fuels the detriment and straight up this destruction of black lives. But seriously, I'm driving to work, right? This is the other day. I'm driving to work and I see a grown man who's praising this stuff like it's the all end all shouting out from his car i mean the dude looked 30 plus i mean seriously we are more long gone right now we're, we're long gone dirk's album was allegedly again about his issues with his ops no of course not not the government no not not the white boy another black man what a surprise when you blacks only have energy to have black ops. I don't care about your hurt for King Vaughn. That was a glorified killer. Why would anyone with common sense feel the need to share empathy for you, Dirk? For people who live and die by the sword. Again, Dirk, you're 30 years old. And this is the content that is being produced? I saw another grown man. He looked at least 45, and this was on YouTube. 
you know how they do reaction videos for these uh i guess content if that's what you want to call it new album for dirt almost healed gotta come share my insight and this dude had a cool ass smile eyes bucking for joy as he described the brilliance brilliance he says of dirk's album and i said to myself guys like him gotta go because how can we truly build anything when the ones who are supposed to be the teachers are siding with this madness and on that note let me get to j cole who shamelessly was on this album as a feature by the way just for you that think that i'm just you know being the old man who's gonna shout i checked out the content again i'm a music creator myself i checked out the content i'm not gonna speak on it without checking it out because i knew this is one of the main faces of what rap has become and i was using him as an example so of course i'm gonna do my due diligence so in saying that again i'm standing on it album was trash so back to j cole j cole was on uh, was on a was on as a feature right they had this song about children now i just want to go over j cole's opening hook and this is how it goes Dirk Hill told me he been on some positive ish yeah yeah lately i just want to show up and body some shit yeah yeah always been a little mathematician lately it's cash i'm getting quite obvious cold but anyways let's continue got me losing count of these bags i've been moving too fast hard times don't last remember when cops harass talking out my ass bingo j cole yes you are let's continue boy you ain't shit but a b word with a badge now this is for the folks when i tell them i'm lukewarm about a j cole well that's the reason right there one foot in one foot out type of guys listen j cole's talking about all this stuff and this is a song that has nothing but children in the background of the actual video they made for the song you know like like the music is centered for these are our babies they couldn't have been older than nine years old yet the entire subject and aim of dirk's album was surrounding beef murder and get back yo j cole guys like you who play both sides are even worse than the little dirks of the world j cole you represent the leaders in our communities who don't pick a side and is eventually led astray or right on cue by the almighty dollar and the faces from behind that we don't see i mean i'm not surprised but still i like to take the power away from the people who peddled these fools to us as our excellence i mean bro that was embarrassing cole and the verse you wrote for the feature made the song even worse again you sounded like a politician <laughs> struggling with your democratic script man look i get it whenever you compare today's hits with the music from decades prior the new stuff is probably going to come up short if your only exposure to current rap is from the radio and friends, it's understandable that it's not for you. But isn't that the point? See, what I mean is radio, the fandom, and commercialization is plastered as the face, voice, and mirroring of what black culture is. I was going to say artificially, but if you subscribe to studio influence of a lifestyle, a mindset, you are the collateral damage of this the so-called target audience isn't even for you black people it's for the white boys and girls who view that predicated lifestyle as taboo as on the edge black death made essentially cool and that's them white folks drug but for you black people you have adopted this as our way of life as who we are and sadly this is exactly what you see within the problems of most of our communities now the underground hip-hop scene was exploded has exploded you know with some of the most creative forward-thinking music to date especially back then you know back then's underground i mean i love that golden age but we are living through one of the worst times to be a hip-hop head right now again correlated 
with what's what's going on in the black community there's a reason why i'm connecting both together we are left with still no versatility no depth content as a whole it's all cliche and again i'm mirroring this with black culture because honestly protest march outrage you know all over what what so-called white police do to us just to turn around and choose a blind eye to a child being murdered every day same recipe but nothing has changed no progress one in one the same little dirk has all these children no i'm talking about his actual children now he has all these children has been in the game for over a decade now and he's still giving you guys a version of his life as most of them do in which he and them does not live anymore as far from how trash that album was and i'm telling y'all it's trash and as a music creator myself again a dj fan of a genre that caused me to question learn more and get familiar with levels of insight that i have never known before i say to you little dirk and your fans your music is hot garbage many of these popcorn rappers content is trash i see why these little ones are all doped up on pills your music is not uplifting life changing it's depression 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 yet y'all allegedly millionaires though imagine that i guess money ain't what it's cracked up to be huh being afraid of being labeled the old angry man is not a diss to me y'all you can go ahead and label that i tend to view it as you know growth and it shows care for your people when you see trash like the 30 year old little dirks of the world being pushed to you as a classic it's infuriating i mean no song on that album will receive major recognition 20 years from now in fact most of these artists music will not last the test of times like so many others have in the past is this really black culture now though for real somebody talk to me is this really black culture now is is this what it's come to yo i'm bugging about this because it's like content still matters to the true artist but as black culture continues on its downward spiral the real artist appeal goes down with it as we see in the culture the ones doing the groundwork the ones who gets their hands dirty every day putting in the work building and destroying properly will not receive acknowledgement or be used as the model to follow it's the glorified release of an inmate versus the dismissive sentiment towards a high school or college graduate the criminal who just beat a charge versus the victim who pulled through the hardship no no more push or love for the individual individual it's the echo chambers we subscribe to the crowd's opinions throughout its 60 year existence hip-hop and certain artists have pioneered the genre and trust me are trailblazers of their time what they've created the importance the distinctions with their artwork rap culture is inexplicably, inexplicably tied to black culture i'm telling you rap culture is inexplicably tied to black culture forget what everyone else is saying it's one and one the same have you not been seeing what's going on and the history of rap music is in part the history of black people but yet still unfortunately organized controlled and put together by the same people who controls history as always though what is on the radio is not reflective of the best quality of rap music you won't hear the lupe fiascos the coast contras blue and exiles your commons and others alike who to their own self-sacrifice put themselves in a category that is that is not nor will be enhanced by the status quo but you would just think that black people would be in search of this lane a lane more conscious a lane set up 
to help you grow not realizing what you listen to is shaping shaping your mindset and what you do on the daily because most of us aren't built up to understand how to separate the music and the lifestyles from what it does to impact ours most of you don't we now see the degenerate form of rap that is now and has been produced in the community i dare you debate me debate me on how rap is not a direct mirror to the current state of black culture i dare you honestly anyways i'm very disappointed that a trash album like dirk's latest project is what is being glorified with my people i can also say the same hearing about the latest murder victim i came across and there you have it what little dirk's album is called again is almost healing but what it should have been called to perfectly reflect what the culture's current state is should have been was not even close to being healed too much work to be done it's gravitating the way like share comment subscribe don't let your feelings be all in the mix just dissect properly and align what i'm saying with reality but if you do rock with your boy like share comment subscribe and as always most importantly please keep coming back If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple. I saw that out in the rental, Sonata, the presidential. Speak once and listen twice, they told me that less is simple.